Do you want to see some out of this world freestyle from around the world? Why not stay with us here at the Sands Leisure Centre in Carlisle for another series of BMX Beats! <laughs> qualified to carry your bike down there as you as a roadie for the alarm. <laughs> really good. Okay, one other thing you're qualified to do. What's that? Tell us about the scores after two rounds. Okay, champ. They look. Let me put your bike down here. Run up to the monitor and I'll tell you what the leaderboard looks like. It looks like this. The United Kingdom, 573 points. North America scored 555, all the fives. England, 583, and Europe with 470. So the leaders at the moment are England with 583 points. That may well change today as we go back into the competition. Start with the front rounds, Andy. Okay, Michael Larson from the European team. Michael Larson is from Arlberg. Uh, he's 19 years old. A full-time professional freestyler who actually started BMX has a race and then moved on to freestyle. Not only that, he also does a bit of uh, the old skateboarding and roller skating as well, Andy. Yes, well, this is the third round of the BMX beat and it's really cooking. Now, remember, this is the groundwork section. Two minutes of nothing but groundwork. OK, freestyle rules on BMX beats. OK. Michael Larson, excellent. 360. That's something we haven't seen before the MX began. Very nice. Cleared the ground car high as well to make that 360. That's right. It's a front ops. Front ops is another thing we haven't seen because um, most of the drivers class that as a basic type of trick. But again, it is very, very difficult to actually pull them off. Okay, here we go for a bit of Excellent handstand on the bike. One handed, no less. Nicely back onto the frame. Now he breaks the Scarra trick team, the, the Scarra tuck as his most difficult trick. Oh, superb. That's a pity he put his foot down. Come on, give him some encouragement! Let's have some noise! Okay, he's got a plenty of noise. Get some going. European team, yeah. There we go! Oh. That's just what I was talking about a little while ago. Let's do the Scarra tuck, guys. Have you ever seen it in a little bit? <laughs> Was he trying to whip the bike over with him once he came out? Uh, that is the general idea. It's about 25 seconds to go now. There you go. Yes, that's better. better. Skeletor. Quite a physical ride here from Michael Larson from Sweden. European team yet really to find their feet off, if you like, their wheels in this competition. But, why not it a good old go? Well, like I was saying before, the reason I'm relatively new to... Uh... As he retires, the next rider will be... Robert Goss. Okay, Rob Dodge from the North American team, they're in second place at the moment. Can he push him into first? Robert's actually a Canadian riding for the North American team. He finished seventh on the Rams division of the competition at the World Freestyle Championship. Very nice enough. Expo 86 in Canada, Toronto at Nice slider there, guys. He's made a nice start to the routine. And it's a special squigger. He's only been BMX riding for 18 months. Now that is remarkable. Let's see what he's achieved in 18 months. Excellent. I mean, he's been riding for 18 months and here he is on international BMX beats. I mean, he really has achieved a lot. Nicely done. Backwards. He's trying to get the back wheel up. If he can hold it up just a little bit longer, would have scored some extra points. Ideally, the riders don't want to put their feet down too often. Thank you. 
30 seconds to go as he starts this, probably his last manoeuvre, bar one. Okay, nice to be back on the bike. Very tidy. A slow, careful, considered performance here from Robert Dodds. And a 720 prime win! Superb stuff! I know these guys at some of the riders are actually finishing a little bit earlier before the faster goes. I think that might actually cost them a few points. And there you go, time out for Robert Dodds. The next rider! Um, I think, yeah, somehow, uh, somehow related excellent. to one of those two. It's a lawnmower, I think. That's right, yeah, excellent lawnmower he just pulled up there. Don't ask me why they call it that, but it's just very nice. Backwards, head wheelie. Sponsored by Andy's company, the whole shot. But uh, also, uh, he's a bit of a football player and a gold fan. And uh, looks to America for his freestyle inspiration. He's probably seen plenty of that in the MXB International so far. That's right, excellent. Very smooth. And actually spun his bar backwards again there to get the cable free. Robert right in for the UK team, actually lives in East London. Very smooth rider. Excellent, yeah! Bit of a comedian, I think, I think. Well, he's, you know, he likes to play to the crowd a bit, because, you know, once you get the crowd on your side, then you're able to perform tricks like this one. Excellent! Very nice. Backwards seat wheelie. I thought I know how to dream up all these tricks. <laughs> nicely back on his frame. Excellent, nicely done, nice and smooth. I would imagine you've seen your brother develop over the years. That's right, yeah, I mean, he's only been doing it for about two years now. Into reverse cherry picker. Nicely back down, into a frame win, didn't quite get it. Into some woody hops. Target's up, Lord! 30 seconds to go. One handy. Excellent. It's really, I'll tell you, this is a pretty impressive routine. It's very important for the riders try not to put their feet down. It's a quick spin! Brilliant! Excellent! Riding for England, 18 years old, sponsored by New X Custom Riders. Um, returning to top form after uh, about a regular fever, in fact. Pretty much of action for the bunch of 86. Uh, nice to see him back. Well, I'll tell you what, Mason is very, very dedicated to freestyle. He actually eats, lives, and sleeps with BMX. I mean, he runs his own uh, BMX shop, and of course, spends any spare time he's got actually practicing freestyle. Superb, excellent. 360 backwards peg wheelie. Brilliant. Nicely done. Another rider like Robert is very smooth, takes their time, tries to make sure they actually pull off all the tricks they're attempting. Here we go, backwards surfer. Yeah. With a handbars reversed as well. Brilliant. And that is a very, very difficult trick. You have to actually support the fight by the handlebars and the seat. Very, very difficult. Into frame whips. Oh, you're getting in, you know, you're getting in. I'm learning the terminology rapidly. And another another frame whip. Excellent, into Woody Hop! Frame whip into Woody Hop. Excellent the way he came from the frame whip straight into the Woody Actually, I'm looking at amazement on his face towards us. They're thinking, like, three five, actually got into it. Into Miami Hopper! 30 seconds left for Mason. Okay, we're really warming up now with these guys. Remember, this is groundwork, two minutes on the ground. You can't use the ramp, we've got the ramp section coming up in the next part of the program. And it's been very close so far. And there's another quick spin. Brilliant. The England riders and the UK riders doing very, very well in this competition. They're actually leading at the moment. Cherry Bigger! So I'm sat here watching, before the start of the competition, one of the Canadian riders, Robert Dodds, just practicing a little bit of gentle ramp work. 
And uh, joining me to watch Robert perform is someone from the CFA. Is that the correct title? Uh, it's actually CBMX FA. CBMX FA, which is the Canadian BMX Freestyle Association. How is BMX Freestyle in Canada at the moment? Yeah, it's very new to the sport. It's uh, actually just been put out to the public this year for the first year. And it is probably doubling by the week. Really? So there is keen interest. Now, I, I heard that you actually rushed through the association and that uh, you weren't planning to really get it together this year. Is that right? That's true. We were ready to put it out to the public in 1987, but the demand of the children really pushed us ahead, had it opened up this year. Now, that is the best way for a sport to develop, really, where the, actually the members of the sport say, we want to get organised rather than being forced into it. However, you did have uh, a World Championships fairly recently in uh, Canada, I believe. Yes, we had the first ever World Championship. Uh, was held on the Expo grounds in Vancouver, British Columbia. And the second one is to be held in 1987, August of 1987, here in England. Well, that's great uh, that uh, we've got someone representing the people who last looked after the World Championships, and you're now here, uh, sort of, I suppose you could call this, checking out how good we can handle the British Champion or the World Championships when they come here. How were the championships to run quickly? They were excellent, absolutely excellent. Yeah, and the standard of the riding? Top notch. And what do you think of the standard of the riding in BMX International? I think it's top-notch as well. I think they're very closely associated in style and capabilities as they were in the world's event. Marcia, thank you very much indeed for your time. Appreciated that. And now, uh, back over to Andy with BMX Style. Okay, thanks guys. Now, on International BMX Beat, we want to show you all aspects of BMX Freestyle. We've got something a bit new for you. This is what happens when a group of riders synchronise their movements. It's called Sync Style.27. Robert Dodds, riding for Team North America, scored 142. Robert Ruffle, 
Riding for Team UK, he scored 145. And Mason Smith, riding for Team England, scored a massive 151. Right then, better get on with the competition again as we go on to the ramps. Andy, you got everybody ready? OK, guys, here we go with some radical ramp -ray. Yeah! Michael Larson with the European team. 19 years Michael old. Michael Larson, our ball. The lowest scorer of the Flatlands would set to make that up of the ramp work. Well, I was talking to him a little while ago and he said that he's stronger on the ramp than he is on the ground. So let's hope we can make up some points here. Talking about strength, uh, Michael says that one of the most important things of BMX riding is bodybuilding and he doesn't crack the other side of building. Yeah, that's true. 360 front wheel quick turn on the ramp, nicely done, and a nice roll back as well. So I've been very smooth so far, strung his moves together pretty good. Up onto the seven foot quarter bike, come back down. Nice aerial. Steps up to the top of the court row. Quarter bike, quarter down. What am I saying? Very good. Now remember, the Swedish team have uh, only been in freestyle a short time. But the way they've come on over the last six or eight months has been tremendous. And they're holding their own here on International BMX Beat. Remember, this is the ramp section. They can't use can't use the ground, just ramps only. They'll only be scored on the ramps. Looking good so far. 30 seconds left. Oh, the point, we're 
Very nice. Excellent. Front wheel 360 on the ramp. And a nice roll back slider. Again, incorporating a bit of flat land into the routine. Excellent. 30 seconds left. Will Robert go for one more? High leap off the quarter bike. Let's see. Is he coming down fairly fast? He's accelerating. Watch this for height. Here you go. Excellent. Good four or five feet out of the top now. There he goes for another one. Yeah! Excellent. Robert is very, very dedicated freestyle. I should know, I suppose. <laughs> Let's hear from Mason Ryan for the uh, team at England, 18 years old. Super, that was a good one there, guys. Got third Thank place you, in the 60 plus open class at Hull Shot in 85. And he's improved since then dramatically, now representing England. Trump will 360. This is his third appearance on BMX Beat. Appeared in the finals for 84 and 85. Now, once again, there is a lot of pressure on the riders when they're out there. A lot of people watching. And it also, it means a lot because everybody wants to do as well as they can in the competition. Excellent, 540 rank spin. And of course, you've got to remember the routines. And that in itself is very, very difficult when you're under this kind of pressure. They're not just throwing tricks together. They've got a pair of sticking to. Oh, superb. Excellent, come on, give it to them. Close for that one. Oh, that was difficult. Frame stand, thank you, yeah. Superb. One thing that we haven't seen in this competition so far... Oh, brilliant! Miami Hotline on the ramp. That actually is pretty fuzzy. One thing we haven't seen so far is the uh, green stand aerial. Now, I'm surprised nobody's actually pulled that off. Maybe in the latter part of the competition, somebody will do it. Mason not having too good a time there, but he's straight back on his bike. I think, uh, I think he will have saved this place for the excellent riding before that, unfortunately, very well. Goes for it again, doesn't quite get it. 30 seconds left. Will he try it again? It's very important that the riders don't get caught off when they put their feet down. They've got to stick at it, carry on with their routine, because all the time throughout the routine, they're scoring points. Nice and done. He's going for a one-footed front wheel kick turn there. Yeah? Now, Mason again is another rider who specialises mainly in flatland freestyle. But that doesn't mean to say that he's not any good on ramp. Riding for Europe on Flatland scored 127. On the ramps scored 134. His total is 261. Robert Dodds on the Flatland scored 142. On the ramps scored 141, making a North America total 283. Robert Rumble on the Flatland out of a possible 200 scored 145. On the ramp scored 147, making the UK total 292. It's close. Mason Smith riding for Team England. Flatland scored 151. On the ramp scored 144, making the England total for leaders with 295. Round three is very, very close then. And he's down there talking to Mason. Oh, it's gonna get exciting. England rear front, Mason Smith, you're a contributor to that success. How have we done it? Uh, I think this group's got a really good team. Well, all our team members are really good, so it's yeah. a good team. What do you think, guys? Excellent. England may be in the lead at the moment, but that could well change in the next edition of the program. Have you been watching Andy Ruffle? Guess what? And this was International BMX Beat! And we'll be back on the BMX beat at the same time tomorrow morning.